Hello, I got some questions about uh, TCP stream and HTTP stream uh, features in Wireshark and I'm going to illustrate this here. So this is a capture file that I created where I just uh, visited uh, my website and then later on uh, example.com website. I also had uh, a ping running in the background so that there is uh, a bit of traffic. So you can see here uh, the pings, the DNS, here the TCP, HTTP, then more pings and DNS, and then again another uh, TCP connection. Now, a couple of things that I want to show here. If you select uh, the first TCP packet, and uh, you go here in the TCP dissector, you will find the field that is called the stream index. Now, first of all, this field is between square brackets and a field in a dissector in Wireshark that is between square brackets indicates a field that is not present in the data itself. So this is a field that Wireshark itself, the dissector has added. It's not present in the TCP data. This is something that Wireshark has added. And Wireshark will give an index to each stream that it sees in the capture file and it starts numbering those streams with zero. So this is uh, the first stream, stream zero. Here, this one here, another SYN packet. You can see this is stream one. That's another TCP connection here in this case. Now what I like to do is to have this stream index here displayed as a column in my view. And you can do this by selecting stream index here, right clicking and then say apply as column. And then here you have the stream index as column. And then you can see what protocols have streams and their number. So of course TCP here has numbers. Now ICMP and DNS, no stream index. So here you can see the two TCP HTTP connections here when I visit my website. And then later when I go to the example.com website here, that's another TCP uh, HTTP stream with index 2. Now a thing you can do when you have uh, streams like TCP HTTP is you can select a packet and then right click and say here follow. And here you have a couple of options. And the only option that is available here to us now is TCP stream. Now watch here. Eh? So my display filter here is empty. And when I say follow TCP stream and I click on this, two things will happen. First of all, I will have a dialog box here that displays the content of the TCP stream. So all the packets together. And here also the, the display filter has changed. Uh, it has become tcp.stream equals zero. So only to display the packets of stream zero and nothing else. And here in that uh, stream view, in that TCP stream view, in pink, we see the packets coming from the client and in blue, the packets are coming from the server. So this is my HTML page that you see coming back. Uh, pink is client, you can see it below here, and blue is a server. If you change here that display to one, for example, then you can see all the packets of a TCP stream with index one. And the last one here in this capture is number two. Here you see all those packets. That's one here is when I visit example.com. Let me show you again, TCP, follow TCP stream. And here you can see that I visit the website example.com here with HTTP. Now remark the following, in the reply from the server, you can see here content encoding gzip. So the content is compressed. And if you look here after the headers, what you have from data here 
it's something that is not readable. That's because this is gzip compressed. And the same here for the request for uh, the, fav, uh, the fav icon here. Not found, GZ compressed, and here we have data that is compressed. Now here we select the TCP, but if you select something, a packet that is recognized as an HTTP packet, then if you go into follow, then the HTTP stream is also enabled as an option. So not only do we have TCP stream in that case, but also HTTP stream. Uh, let's click on this. And now you get a slightly different view and still pink and blue for what is coming from the client and from the server. But this time here, although it is compressed in the HTTP follow stream view, the content has been decompressed. So here you can actually see the HTML that has been sent here. Uh, example domain, this domain is established for to be used for illustrative examples in documents. And here the request for fav icon with a 404. And here you can see uh, the 404 response. So that is the difference between uh, TCP and HTTP stream, and also to have the options, you have to select the right uh, packet. If you pack, select the TCP packet, then it is uh, only the TCP stream option that you have. But if you uh, select a packet that has also been dissected as HTTP, then not only do you have TCP, because it is TCP, but also HTTP stream, because it is HTTP.